Today we're going to tie a really simple damselfly nymph pattern. Um, take a 2x long hook, dry fly or wet fly will work. Start your thread about one eye length behind the eye and work your thread back to a point just above the barb. And I'll take a marabou plume and strip off about 10 barbs or so. Bundle them together and then get your tail so it's about the length of the shank and tie this in just above the barb. Two or three wraps is all you'll need. Now I'm going to hold the butt ends forward just to get them to align right. And we're going to bring our thread forward. We'll stop somewhere just past the halfway point. Clip off the excess. Now we're going to take a piece of Swiss straw and tie that in right here. Same spot. Two or three wraps is all you'll need. Leave your butts a little long. And then come to back to that point where we st initially started our thread. I'm going to take some Peacock Girl dubbing mix. Um, any olive sparkly dubbing will work. And we'll twist it onto the thread. Always twist the dubbing onto the thread so your thumb, if you're a right-handed tire, moves to the left. If you, if you twist it the other way, like you're snapping your fingers, what will happen is the dubbing will come off your thread as you're wrapping your your thread onto the hook. It's basically untwisting itself when you do that way. Stop about there. Now we're going to do the same thing again. Except this time, as we work our way back, we're going to stop halfway. tie in some black rubber legs. There's two here. Now we'll pull this back. Just get it out of the way over here. And we'll put a little bit more dubbing on the thread. And we'll wrap to that initial point again. and on the opposite side as well. And I'll pull this forward just a little bit. Just get it so those back legs are even. That looks pretty close. Now take and cut there. So you can bring that wing case over, our Swiss straw that we tied in earlier. Hands are slippery today. Pull your legs back. Two, three wraps is all it'll take. Take that excess. Pull it back, or if it's too long, you can trim it. Now we're going to take some some damsel eyes, and basically what these are, if you can't find them in your local shop, is it's, it's a set of mono eyes with two small beads in the middle. 
I'll tie these in right along the top of the shank. Just like you tie any set of Clouser dumbbell eyes. Just a few figure eights. We're going to tie these in as close to that hook eye as we can. And that's basically it. One last thing we'll do is we'll put a little bit of dubbing behind the eyes. And as we finish, we'll whip finish. Now I remember we had two sets of legs at each on here. Split those apart. Or you can leave them whole and let the fish blow them apart. Basically when damselfly nymphs swim, they, they mostly wiggle their abdomen, but their legs are pretty mobile too. Basically what you get is something like that. If you want, you can take and trim the front set real short. But leave the other ones long because damselfly nymphs, the legs are usually just as long as the body. And that's it.